politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, veteran journalist Andrew Mwenda has vowed to petition the Constitutional Court to challenge the recently passed anti-homosexuality bill should President Museveni assent to it. Mwenda on NTV Uganda yesterday said the anti-homosexuality bill is not only unnecessary but also very stupid in many ways, saying that it's impossible for the state to regulate morality as the new bill seeks to do. Uh, this will be the second time for Andrew Mwenda to run to court seeking nullification of uh, the anti-homosexuality bill. It if if Museveni signs this law, I, Andrew Mwenda, I promise you, even last I'll time, go to the constitutional court. Last, I, even last time he I sponsored did. you to go to the constitutional <laughs> court. So that is you right. You sponsored me? Yes. Oh, and, but okay. let me yeah, no, no, oh. but let me say this. Let me say this. Gentlemen, okay, Andrew Mwenda. Assuming John wanted to have sex with Derek, and both of them are consenting adults. Why should that be a subject of interest by the state of Uganda? I can understand if the mosque or the church or cultural institutions like Mengo said in protection of our traditions, in protection of our religious uh, doctrines, we will preach in the church, in the mosque, and in, at Mengo, in the palaces, against this. Okay, hold on. But this, to, this, just this. one second. But to get the state of Uganda hmm. and its police forces to come and seek to enforce morality, I find it strange. Well, there you go. That is Andrew Mwenda on NTV Uganda yesterday. Now, some time back, this picture of Andrew Mwenda in rainbow socks trended so big time, and I think it wasn't by mistake to put them on. Uh, he knew what he was doing. Now, relatedly, United States of America is considering slapping economic sanctions on Uganda after Parliament passed the anti-homosexuality bill that would see anyone engaging in acts of homosexuality facing 20 years and death penalty for convicts of aggravated homosexuality. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby yesterday said Washington will have to take a look at imposing economic sanctions on Uganda. <laughs> Now, local comedian and uh, TikToker Sami Manini wants Bobby Wine to discipline his son Solomon Kampala after his comments on homosexuality. Solomon recently in his Instagram post said, uh, Nobody cares what the homosexuals are doing. Fix the roads, fix the hospitals, fix the schools for God's sake. Now, Sami Manini has described Solomon Kampala's opinion as nonsense and wants Bobby Wine to discipline him. However, many Ugandans on different social media platforms have attacked Sami and have told him to first tell President Museveni to discipline his son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, for all the stupid things he has posted about on his Twitter platform. <laughs> Now, former head of Uganda's military intelligence, General David Sejusa, has joined voices against the newly passed anti-homosexuality bill 2023. Uh, General Sejusa has described the bill as a bad law and one that doesn't merit President Museveni's signature. Uh, he likened the bill to other poorly drafted laws in Uganda whose implementation has completely failed over the years. Well, finally, yesterday, NUP president met Muchala Chimbowa, who was his nursery school teacher and headmistress at St. Maria Goretti Nursery and Primary School in Kamocha. Actually, this is the woman the late Asia talked about in some video before she died. Naba, hey. it's a what is the science? Kari, what is <laughs> Asia in Kamocha? Watch out. See I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 
singa kari kamu itraga kandi zini kamu pumbileka ade asiana kuchao well, there you go. Uh, that is the latest update on the Buzz UG. But uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.